everyone! Welcome back to the Stitches and Scribbles channel. My name is Erin and I've got another Vlogmas episode for you today. So this episode's a little different. I'm pulling up my computer so that I can make sure I say the correct date for this video um, because this one is actually pre-filmed by a little bit. So I had a morning where um, I had a little bit of extra time to do Vlogmas things so I decided to go ahead and pre-film two tutorials to give myself a break later on in the month. So today's tutorial is going to be this crocheted squiggly Christmas tree ornament. Um, super, super easy, perfect for beginners. Um, if you haven't crocheted anything yet, this is a great starting project. You'll just need a couple of extra craft supplies in order to get it accomplished. Um, but before we dive into the tutorial, I wanted to make sure that I opened my advent calendar candle for the day. And for me, it's earlier on, it's still November when I'm pre-filming this, but for you it's December 7th. So we're going to open box number 7. We've got a nice white candle this time in kind of a cream colored base and this one is eggnog scented. Definitely smells like eggnog. I really like that scent. It's a little bit spicy but mostly kind of that like clean, well not clean, like baked goods scent. That's that's what I was going for. So we've got our eggnog candle today and now that that's opened let's dive into the tutorial. All right, for this crochet ornament, you will need some yarn. I am using, I love this yarn in the color Spa, but you can use any color. It doesn't even have to be green if you don't want it to be. You will also need a crochet hook. I am using a 4.5 millimeter today. I would recommend using the size on the label and not going too big with your hook. Um, because that's going to make the spacing between the stitches too big. Um, you will also need some beads of your choice. These just need to be big enough that you can fit a yarn needle through them. I'm going with these wooden beads I got from Amazon. You could also use pony beads, um, like the cheap plastic ones. Um, and you'll need a yarn needle of course to sew everything together some sort of an ornament hook I have these cheap ones that I got from Hobby Lobby they just look like this and then ooh, some pliers to twist the hook with if you're really stuck um, you could use a paper clip for this part as well we're gonna start with a slip knot and when you do your slip knot leave a pretty long tail because we're going to use that to sew the ornament up at the end. So I'm going to make my slip knot and we're going to be doing something today called a foundation single crochet. If you're a new crocheter and you just learned regular single crochet and chain stitches don't worry this is very very similar to both of those and definitely doable if you're a beginner. In order to do foundation single crochet, we're going to be building the chain stitch that you would normally start crochet with and the first row of single crochet at the same time. This is actually going to be our only row for the project because we just need one row of single crochet and that's why we're just doing the chain stitch and the single crochet at the same time. So to get started, insert your hook into your slip knot and make sure that you're working with the yarn coming from the skein, not the extra that you pulled out for the tail. We're going to start by just chaining two. Then you're going to insert your hook into the first chain, so skipping the one that you did second. You're going to draw up a loop. Then you're going to pull through just one loop again, and that acted as the chain stitch for your first single crochet. Then you're going to pull through both loops on the hook. Now we've made one foundation single crochet. You're going to insert your hook again and you're going to make sure that you get it underneath both legs of that v-shaped stitch on the bottom. Pull through once, pull through once again to create that next chain stitch, and pull through both. 
You're going to continue doing these steps until your crochet piece is as long as you want. I typically like to do about 60 stitches, but I make sure to leave my yarn attached in case I need to adjust my length at the end. But go ahead and do at least 60 stitches and then we'll meet back here for the assembly. At this point you should have something that looks like this. Your um, first row should be about a foot and a half long. If it's not exact, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave my loop here and keep my yarn attached, meaning like not cutting it off, until I'm almost done with my construction. You're going to take that long tail that you separated out at the beginning and thread it onto your yarn needle, like so. Now we're going to start adding our beads. So <laughs> I'm going to take my first bead, actually I'm going to use the darker ones. Take your first bead and put it over your needle. And this one we're just going to reinsert the needle right away into that first stitch or so on your crochet section. This is the bead that we're going to attach the um, loop or the ornament hook onto at the top. So we want to make sure it's kind of sideways so that we can do that. Then grab your next bead and slide it over. Now you're going to kind of wrap your stitches around that bead to see where they sit and insert your yarn needle through like that. And that's kind of the first squiggle of your ornament. You're going to keep going in this pattern, making the squiggles slightly bigger each time. So like for this one, I'm going to kind of measure out how big I want the squiggle to be and use that to decide where I'm placing my next stitch. This can get a little tangly as you go, like you can see there that I kind of messed it up already. Um, but if that happens, you can just kind of undo the most recent stitch and reset <laughs> your setup so that you can go again. So here we go, looping it through and making that stitch. I somehow did the same thing again. I don't know how I am doing that every time. <laughs> and again, we're just making knots on this channel apparently. I realize this is making it look a lot harder than it actually is. I promise this is fairly easy to put together. I just apparently can't do it on camera today for some reason. But that's okay. Maybe we'll hold it like this and then insert through the stitch. Much better. <laughs> now you can see we have our second layer of squiggles. And like I said before, you're just going to keep alternating down the length of your crochet that you made before. The reason why we keep the stitches um, not closed off at the end is in case you need to adjust the length of your foundation single crochet because if you get to the end and it doesn't line up exactly with the middle you're going to want to add or take away a few stitches to adjust for that. I did make like five of these before <laughs> I filmed the tutorial, so I promise I know what I'm doing. Um, it's just one of those days apparently. It does seem to be working better for me to kind of lay it out this way. These are really great gifts because the crocheting, once you kind of get the hang of it, only takes like 
max 10 minutes to do and the assembly is maybe another like 5 to 10 ish at least that's what it's been for me as I've been making these so they're really fast gifts and would also be great for markets if you're doing those I like to display ornaments on a little like pre-lit twig tree because it doesn't take up as much space as a full little Christmas tree but it gives the same effect. So mine worked out that the end of my crochet is exactly where I need it to be so I'm actually just going to cut my yarn before doing this last bead and pull it through that final loop to close it off. Do my last bead and go through my final stitch. So now we've made the tree and we are going to do a stem at the bottom or a tree trunk. So I'm going to use three beads for this. I'm going to start by sliding two onto my needle and pushing them all the way down. Then I'm going to put my third one on and before I really make the third one tight, I'm going to put my yarn needle back through the first two and then pull it tight. That kind of holds everything together. I'm also going to insert into that crochet string that we made and do a little simple knot. Now I'm going to remove my yarn needle and the way I like to finish this off is by hiding the yarn inside the stem. You can absolutely weave in your ends like you would with a normal crochet project. I just think that this is easier and faster. So I just did a little knot with my two ends. Now I'm going to kind of twist them together a little bit and put them back in the yarn needle as if they were one piece of string kind of adjust a little bit and go back down through those first two beads on the trunk. Pull everything through nice and tight. Not too tight so that you're pulling on stitches but enough so that the loop isn't sticking out. And then just trim your ends as close as you can get. And that is the finished ornament. To add the hook, I take my little ornament hook and I've been bending open the kind of pointier end so that it's straight, put it through that bead at the top, and then you can kind of just attach it however it best works. I tend to kind of fold mine over and then make like a little loop to hold everything together. Like that. Then you can readjust the top of your hook so that it stays straight. And you can also adjust what direction the hook is facing. So turning it to the side or to the back or however you want your ornament to lay. But that is the finished crochet Christmas tree ornament. I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy Christmas tree tutorial and hope that it helps you out if you're making some last minute gifts or decorations for your home. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more crafty content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow for our next episode of Vlogmas. Bye everyone!